Hi YouTube, it's Kara. I'm just doing a follow-up video that has taken me a very long time and I'm going to quickly explain what's happened. Um, I'm still living in the same town, I'm still in a country town in New South Wales, but I have moved suburbs, still in the exact same job and I'll get to that in a second, what's happened with that. Um, I don't know what, I can't really remember what I said in my last video because I did make other videos that I was going to upload. They didn't get uploaded because my internet wasn't working properly, so um, now it is, it's all fixed, I can start doing videos again. Basically, um, I think it's been about a month, maybe a bit over a month since I did my last video, and uh, things have changed, like a few things have actually gotten better, um, a few things that have changed I'm happy with, a few things I'm not. Um, so. Uh, I'm only wearing foundation. In my other videos, I was actually wearing um, orange lipstick because it actually co covers in the uh, facial hair. But, as you can see, I have next to no facial hair. I've had two laser treatments on my face. It's very painful, I'm not going to lie. I could stand the top lip on the first round of laser. Now... It's a, maybe built up a resistance or something. I'm not sure if anyone else has experienced that. Um, so I have only a little bit left here and a little bit left here. It's all gone, okay? Um, I'm also getting it on my chest, around my nipples. Um, guys have hair on their nipples. This is just normal. Um, so I'm trying to get rid of that. It's it's reduced. Like, my, my body hair has reduced. Not as much as what I was hoping, but we'll see. Um... And my back as well. I have a birthmark that has hair on it. So I'm getting rid of that because, you know, unattractive. The bad thing that's happened from doing that is I have a tattoo on my back. Now I will, um, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I will try and put a picture up um, of my uh, tattoo. I may have to actually um, use my phone. So I'll just try and pull it up now. So what happened is the... Um, the laser has uh, penetrates the dark of the follicle um, in the hair on your back. So if you're lighter skin, and I do have light skin, um, and you have dark hair, it's going to um, work really well. As you can tell from my eyebrows, which I haven't coloured, these are natural. Um, I do have dark hair. So it penetrates that. Great. Works well. If you have a tattoo, now everyone knows I have one here. I also have one on my back. So uh, she said to me, when she's doing it, this is going to wreck your lace, uh, this is going to wreck your tattoo, and I went, oh no, it's fine, it's fine. So this is what happened to my tattoo after a week. Um, because my tattoo is black. So it's burnt, it's actually soaked up as much of the laser as possible, which is very horrible. You probably can't see that very well, but... It is ruined around the edges. It's a big wound. Um, and she couldn't foresee that happening, so um, it's fine. I'm fine with it. If I have to get it fixed, that's fine. I, I do love that tattoo, but I've had it since I was 18, and it happens. It's fine. Uh, so that's, that's a bad thing. <clears throat> and since my last video, I think I said I was on 4 milligrams. I'm now on six milligrams um, daily, so I'm, I, I'll tell you about some of the changes that are happening. I mean, they're all pretty much flow on of, of what's happened um, in my previous videos, and it started happening quite quickly, so it's really difficult to kind of say. And, and uh, facial hair-wise, so I had the laser and my hormones were increased, and the first time I went, like in the mirror, I went to shave, and I've gone, oh my god. There's, there's hardly anything there. That's how quick it happens. It happened overnight. I didn't even realise. Now, I don't do full shaves um, before I go to work. I shave here and here. Occasionally, I might get like a couple of hairs here. They're gone. It's nothing. Um, it's made it so much easier. Um, what else? Uh, breath, breast growth. <laughs> can't even say it. Breast growth. They, um, you probably can't see in this shirt, I've gotten a little bigger, I mean, I've said that I was a C, 
um, a C cup because I'm a large person, but I think, you know, they're, they're probably a B. Um, I probably overstated that, but I wear padded bras anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, so they're really sore. They're not, when I first, when they first started growing, it was in, like just touching them was immense. Now it's kind of, the pain's there, but it's not so much. Um, but the, the breast growth, um, the breast tissue, I can feel it underneath the nipples. When I was saying in my videos, I'm sure they're growing, but they're growing now. Um, that was kind of just a swelling. I don't know if, um, you know, because that's how women cycle, they get a bit of swelling on their breasts. I'm not sure. So for me, it was swelling, and I was like, oh my god, they're growing. And then they kind of, not disappeared, but kind of went down. And I was like, oh no, but now they're growing. Um, what else? So my skin, yes, I was waiting, and oh god, uh, I'm, I'm not going to get this nice skin. I'm not going to get really soft skin. I'm going to be stuck with this really horrible, horrible skin. It has changed. The, the texture of my face has changed. And it's beautiful. Like, it's, it's soft. It's really nice. Um, yeah, so that's, that's all the physical changes. My hair's still growing out. It's down to here. Um, I'm going to get hair extensions still. Uh, so hopefully when I get them, I'll, you know, get rid of this wig. Although I do love it, it's just not, it's not long term. Um, but I wouldn't mind the colour and the cut. I quite like the cut. Uh, okay, so I've moved house. A uh, housemate who I actually was living with before went great. Work-wise, okay. So work-wise, everybody knows. That's it. Everybody knows. Um, I'm very open. I told everyone, everybody knows. They have accepted it. I have not had one negative thing. Um, people can see that there's something happening and, you know, they'll comment like, oh, wow, well, you know, this makeup probably won't completely wash off tomorrow. So people will go, your eyes look really pretty. Um, you know, and my skin is really clear. They're just, they're, they're astonished by how quick it's changed. So, work knows, they know I've got holidays in August and September so I can start living full time and um, I'm happy about that. It's just been amazing having work except me. All my family knows, including my extended family. Everyone is great. Even my grandmother, she has been fabulous. Um, she's accepted everything, no questions asked, no, you know, are you doing the right thing? It's just happened. Um, so in August, I'm going up to my parents' house. I will transition there. Maybe I'll spend a couple of days here first. Um, yeah, so uh, makeup-wise, I guess nothing really has changed except I now don't need to use orange lipstick. Um, I've tried blue eyeshadow. There's actually blue and purple in there, not that you can really see in this video. But um, there is, I've tried that. Lipstick. Mm. I've been using, um, oh, where is it? I said it here. I've been using this. This is actually darker and it's a infallible plumping from L'Oreal. Um, gloss, plumping lip gloss, basically. And I love it. It's actually worn off a bit. So I'll be taking that wherever I go. I just, I love the feel of it on my lips. Um, body odour. That is the one thing that I wanted to talk about. I heard that it changes and I went, hmm, does it really? Because I couldn't smell anything different. There's a big change. It's not a bad odour, not at all. I'm a very clean person. But I can smell, I smell myself and I know that I smell different. Um, which for me means that the hormones, I guess, are working. Um, I haven't had the crazy emotional outbursts. I've felt that they're there, like that they're... It's weird, like, they're right behind my eyes, they're waiting to come out, like, waiting for me to be able to cry, and it hasn't happened. I've been a bit bitchy, but apparently I always was. Yeah, uh, post comments or questions, I know I'll try and get back to them. Spirulactin, three times a day, 300 milligrams. Uh, all up, six milligrams. Um, estrogen, laser every five weeks. That is all the treatment I am on. Thank you.